brick capital of the world because of its storied past in the brick making industry. And every year they celebrate that history. So we want to send it back to our Chanley Painter at BrickFest to check out all the fun and excitement they're having. Hey Chanley. Hey Jesse, I'm here for not just Bago, it's called Bricko. And Mason, you're sponsoring a Bago tournament, well, sorry, Bricko tournament yeah. tomorrow here at the festival. Tell everyone the details about it, and uh, I'm going to try to win this game. We've been playing. Okay, well, some people call it Bago, some people call it Cornhole. <laughs> uh, we changed it up for the honor of a brick fest, call it Bricko. Yes. And you did a pretty good toss there if you want to try again. So you just, how about you give me a tip right fast? Well, it's an underhand toss. Okay. You just want to follow through. Okay, go for it. Let's see what Mason can do. Get it out! Yeah! Okay! Good job. Oh. There you go. There you go. I'll try one more. Oh, okay. I'm just going to stop. Okay. Um, Lance, let's just move. <laughs> Lance, okay. You're a, you're a hometown Malvern, Malvern guy. I, I want to know, why is it called breakfast? First of all. It, it, it stems from Malvern's history in the brick industry. Uh, we actually have three Acme plants in the Malvern area, so there's two at Perla, one at Washita, and uh, they're over 100 years old, about a 125-year-old company. So uh, that was the origin of it, and it started back in the 80s, so we're in, as we talked earlier, we're in, in our 38th year yes. now. And Phil Vassar closes the festival tomorrow night. He, what time? He does. It comes on at 9 o'clock, and there'll be people from all over the state coming in for that. Right, it's lots of fun here in Malvern. Come join us. We'll send it back to you, Jesse. I'm going to keep practicing because I'm All right. <laughs> you guys should try bricks. <laughs> Probably wouldn't work out so well. Well, could Ford and Volkswagen?